family, Fargo family. A little pre-trip going on here. I ain't been on YouTube in a minute. Sorry for all that, but you know, your boy been uh handling some business, man. But about for the last week and a half, two weeks, Fargo family. Sorry about the wind out here too as well. I'm on the side of the road right here. Getting some dirty 30 time in. Warming up some food. See where we at right there. 40 eastbound. 40 westbound. Albuquerque. Flagstaff. Pick your poison, you understand me? You know what I'm saying? That's right there is uh, eastbound. That right there westbound. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, old Hurricane Express. Y'all see where I'm at. Y'all been following. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm doing. Y'all know why I'm doing it. Safety vest, city one. Truck, trailer, day cab, local, running in Vegas. Uh, Henderson, Nevada, Phoenix, Arizona. Still pulling. Same stuff right here that I'm doing now. So, but not in this team truck. Now, mind you, but if I drop this video, I'll probably be about two weeks away from uh, doing what we're supposed to do. Drop it. You know, uh, that's where it all started at right there, old Swift. Old Swiftly. That's where it started at. So we in that same truck. But yeah, uh, I think I've called just about everybody that I got their number with at the Hurricane Express. And you ask yourself, get away from the reefer right quick. We're still green on them though. We're still green on them though. Fargo, why you think about Hurricane Express? Well, man, it's unfinished business there with that 389. It is. It really is. But recruiter been calling my wife, leaving messages, leaving messages on my phone. The money right, the indentation on me coming back is right. Everything that I want or wanted from Hurricane after my 90 days that I didn't go back, uh, they saying I can get it now. Now that's the hard thing right there. Come back to Hurricane, go right back into a 389. I've been out here 16 years on the road. They gonna verify all 10 years plus and pay me accordingly uh, to the CPM. Now, drivers over there that I've talked to, they had their biggest orientation was 30 people, 35 people in orientation. Some of those guys still hit me up. I appreciate y'all keeping me in the loop. Talk to YouTubers as well. And it seems to be conflicting. 50-50. Y'all remember I told you all I needed from Hurricane was twelve hundred dollars in that three eighty nine. A lot of people thought I was crazy. A lot of people thought I was stupid. My monthly bills are eight thousand dollars. That's it. My wife works. I have a truck and a trailer now and an authority now that I can put a driver in. So, what Fargo bring in from Hurricane would really just be what Fargo brings in from Hurricane and not trying but finishing the lease. Now, what I hear, the lease on those 39, 389s have went from five years to three and a half to four years. And you know, they came out with that 597 or 389X or whatever. And I'm thinking of the bigger picture. I know O'Kaden going to get some. He, he's got every shape, form of hood that you can imagine. He's got it. And I know he's going to get them X's. 
389X, I think it is, 597X, I can't remember. But I know we're gonna get it. I know we're gonna get it. But what I'm interested in is your boy been up three days hustling, smelling like a full grown moose, trying to make a decision on what do I do? Do I go back and finish the unfinished business? Everything that they're promising me is on paperwork through the email. So if it doesn't go right, I can always leave Hurricane and go back and get the day cab, you know, have to let the driver go, you know, uh, whatever may have you, or I could go out and get me another truck and still keep the driver, you know what I'm saying? So uh, the wife would still be home dispatching, doing her thing. So I think that's where I'm at right now, man. I think that's where I'm at. Uh, big shout out to Trucking with Mike, man, you know, you never burn your bridges with people because you never know when you're going to need a friendly ear. You know, uh, that dude, uh, big shout out to you, Truck with Mike, man. I hope you see this, baby. Uh, he really gave me some honest, true opinion because he done something that Fargo didn't do. He got into a blue 389 and then went back and then got into another 389. So he knows the situation that Fargo can't even speak on. Because I never went into a 389. Now, I've drove 389s, but it's not been on the highway. It's been weedy season. You know, I'm a, I'm a good old country boy. You know what I'm saying? Steer roping, bull cattling, you know, FFA, Future Farmers of America. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's a hard decision, man. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to bring it to the Fargo family and get some honest to God good or bad criticism you know i always welcome all comments man you know uh it's just that like i say for like the last week or two man it's yeah 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 thomas yeah yeah yep yep it'll be in the contract yep it's in the email now as soon as you get here to be in the contract hey, man let me tell you boy it's a uh, it's a hard decision for our go family that's why i'm coming with y'all man and I want y'all to be honest if you've ever worked at Hurricane, if you ever thought about working at Hurricane, or if you're an ex-driver at Hurricane, you know, thinking about going to Hurricane, you know, uh, and what made this video get prompted was before I pulled out the highway right here to take this dirty 30, I pulled up at the old Flying J and I said, you could, let me show y'all so y'all don't know I'm lying and bullshitting with you. Put at the pilot Flying J over there, clean the windows, bugs and shit everywhere. And uh, guess who I saw? <laughs> 40 eastbound, 40 westbound, you understand me? Old 389 Hurricane sitting there. I appreciate your driver. Well, he didn't know I was long way far ago. You know, I don't think he's, he was an older gentleman. I don't think he's too much on YouTube anyway, or much less worried about it. You know what I'm saying? But I asked him generously, hey, I'll give you some money, buy you some lunch, buy you coffee. Can you show me what you bring in home in that 389? Now, this is the caveat to that right there now. He's been in that 389 for about two and a half years. So he's not just anybody that's out there 90 days or been there six months or been there a year. He's somebody that can really honestly say, you know, as he said, when the first two batches of 389s came out, he was the first one in his truck to drive his truck less than 3,000 miles. And when I tell you Fargo family, I looked at that man's settlement. And I said, well, damn, that's not bad. That's not bad. You know, hurricane, all the maintenance is included, you know. But I said, damn, <laughs> that's not bad. I said, how long you stay out? He said, hell, I probably be out here four to six weeks and shit, I'm gone to the house. Uh, I came over here for this 389 and that was it. You know, uh, stay off the yard. I don't talk to too many hurricane drivers. I just do what I gotta do and keep on trucking. And I said, uh, is there any secret to making money with this 389? He said, hell, the secret is, is to keep that left door shut. <laughs> Make sure you off that guaranteed pay. You can either buy your own fuel or not buy your own fuel. He's done both. And he don't never turn nothing down. He don't never turn nothing down. 
And I said, well, damn, driver, I sure appreciate you. We're just going to call him Sonny Liston. I appreciate you, Sonny. You know, uh, this how much it's on your boy mind, your boy out here in the middle of nowhere, just walking, talking to the Fargo family, you understand me? Talking to the Fargo family, man, you know, 1310 on his ass. Watch his ass. In the, in the words of party hard, hold his ass, hold his ass. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, uh, I don't know, man. I don't, like I told her why I really can't lose. What is the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is Hurricane could lie to me. Uh, I do go back over there and they don't put me in the 389 or they start trying to blow smoke up my ass and, you know, all these good things right here. You know what I'm saying? But I knew one thing. And if you think about it, when Cade made that video, I still been posting stuff on my YouTube page and my community page about Hurricane. Y'all know damn well I've been right here at Frey Miller, but I was still posting shit. That is the only company besides Merzdick and Swift that uh, I would go back to because I liked how they done things. See what I'm saying? Uh, I like how they done things. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Uh, hard decision, family. Hard decision, man. But hope y'all watch this whole video, man. Get in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Um, you know, what's the worst that could happen? You know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. You know what I'm saying? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, I'm hoping I don't see no motherfucking eyes out here in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? But I got the motherfucking gold pig stick on you, boy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I ain't tripping on them. But, hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained, you know. I'm 40 years old, man. And I knew one thing at Hurricane. When I got in that 389, I was going to stay there because they ain't making it no more. And that's the truck everybody wants. You know, it's just a, uh, like I told Trucking with Mike, man, it's just that that adrenaline rush that you get when you're going down the highway and looking at that six-foot hood, 18-speed. It's an adrenaline rush, man. It's an adrenaline rush, dog. So, yeah, uh, sorry about the wind. Sorry about being so black at night. But, hell, it's uh, 2.20 in the morning. Um, still running and gunning. You know, uh, two weeks before I got to turn this truck in. And uh, could be a little bit more than that. I'm not sure exactly on the date. But, uh, you know, yeah, man. Like I say, started right there. You know, and yeah. Brand new Peterbilt 2023 recall. Hood mirror fell off. You know, and that's the only truck I would ever have death on would be that 389. I don't I don't want no death on nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no death on nothing else. I wouldn't buy nothing with death on it except for that 389. That little shine of the rim still. Yeah, we trying to keep it cleaning up tight. All right, you understand me? Ow! You know, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, like I told Truck with Mike, man. I said, I'm I'm confused and a fat kid in the candy store with all he can eat and everything. Say F R double E. You get it if you want it. So it's 50 50, man. My mind ain't made up. I just wanted to bring it to the Fargo family, man, because. When I put the shit out there, man, I put it out there because y'all seen that content that I was laying down over there at that old hurricane. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was telling it like it is and I was putting settlements out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was putting settlements out and I would, if I would have stayed there and it wouldn't have been a disagreement, I'd put them 389 settlements out too, man. But right now, what, like I told you, see, Trucking with Mike is the only one that knows what hurricane is offering me right now i mean it is fucking pretty hard to really turn down uh but it's in the fucking paperwork you see what i'm saying so when it's in paperwork you know you gotta really go by the paperwork in the contract you know if you go null and void on the contract uh then there could be i.e something else in the repercussions to that man you know so uh yeah we're still getting down over here Fred miller man Headed to the west, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to come and talk to y'all right quick, man. Cause I guess I, I guess y'all can tell in my voice that you know your boy's kind of leaning like, yeah, 
it may be a a good little situation but what do i have to lose is what i'm thinking about you know what i'm saying time is precious to everybody on earth you know what i mean but when you have time you have time to give you know i feel like that if hurricane does what they say they're going to do and they put me in that 389 and they give me the pay of my 10 years plus experience and I don't have to go back on that guaranteed pay. I go straight to CPM. I think it may be worth it, man. I think it may be worth it, man, but I'm not making, excuse me. I'm not making any uh, prejudgments or prerequisites about it. You know, I always pray about it. Let go, let God. Big shout out to Scooby-Doo. You know what I'm saying? And I let him lead and guide me. That's why I tatted on my face. And if he opens that door, which he has already opened that door of communication, if he opens that door for me to step through that door, like I told my wife in 2023, if God opens a crack in the door and I see light on the other end, I'm running through. I'm Randy Moss in the door. No hinges. I'm taking it. It's all ours. 2023. And that's what I've been doing. That's exactly what I've been doing. Y'all seen on the last videos, man. I was done with this YouTube stuff. I, I don't think I posted like two or three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Because I was done. I dropped 20 videos in one day. I was good. You know, I was going to get back on my businessman shit and uh, get focused. You know, because when you got an authority, dog, <laughs> you got to stay focused. And if y'all don't believe me, you know you can be over here at Fred Miller and have your own authority. You know what I'm saying? So, uh yeah man just give me something to eat here in a minute man and get back down this old highway this lonesome dove way but i don't even know if i'm posting video i just said you know hey i gotta and that's the thing about me about this youtube shit it's a stress reliever dog i've said plenty of times man i make 150 dollars or 250 dollars a month off of youtube it's nothing to be proud about i don't have merch because i don't want nobody to ever say they gave in anything the long way. I got it my way. You know what I'm saying? I got it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? I, I got it like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Uh, just, yeah, I'm in the middle of the road. Sorry about that, y'all. But I've been keeping it in between the mustard and the mustard. <laughs> no mayo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, you know. So, I'll keep y'all updated, man. And if I post this video, then probably nine times out of ten, like a pregnancy test, 99.9 .9, your boy probably going back to hurricane to get that 389 just to see and i quote trucking with mike when he said this hey bro you can always just go see <laughs> big shout out to your truck with mike you know what i'm saying so y'all go like come subscribe to this channel man you know that's trucking with mike dog you know so uh yeah man just uh you know thugging it out out here man working this Frey miller plan doing what we got to do the authority is almost four months old so we'll be ready to cut loose of this truck and that's what i told the wife i said damn babe it's so crazy we getting ready to cut loose off this team truck as coming into freight miller 30 days of of a company driver and then another 30 days uh at $1.79 a mile, all miles paid for. And then another 30 days at 76%. And we about to get ready to take this girl back. And Hurricane came a-knocking. I done told y'all plenty of times before, have y'all ever seen a hurricane and a Texas tornado meet? <laughs> I was he, he was us, and we are that. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it's... It's a hard situation, you know, I left in good terms, you know what I'm saying? It was no hard feelings, no animosity against anybody over there, you know. Uh, I just vlogged the struggles, the real struggles of Hurricane. The real things that drivers go through every day. I never got over there and said everything was peaches and cream, and I don't even eat no peaches and cream, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't even mess with that like that, you know. I gave y'all the real deal, and I showed y'all the settlements, and I took y'all everywhere on Hurricane terminal with me every time every time i went on that yard i went live just for y'all so y'all could see and still have some real definitive questions and answers and something to refer to because just like th that day had come 
I'm no longer at Hurricane. Hurricane videos are, the, are the, some of the videos that make me the most money. I think I got one video on Hurricane right now. It's paying $12.50 per view or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's not about the YouTube. It's not about the money. I got it all out the mud. It's blessed to have my wife along with me with this trip. 10 plus years. She's been driving out here eight, man. You know, so coming November, it'll be eight. But yeah, man, you see where we at, Frey Miller. See what time it is. And uh, yeah. Big shout out to Miss Loretta for just being honest and reaching out. You know, uh, she didn't really have to reach out, but per some of the guys over there at Hurricane now uh, that I talked to, uh, things have changed. Uh, in Miss Loretta's words, Caden has clean house. Uh, you know, so it is what it is, man, you know. So we're gonna take it for what it is. We ain't gonna never take anything for granted. We're gonna always think about it, run it back and keep moving forward. And that's what it is about. That's what the goal is, is just to keep moving and uh, keep moving and grooving. You know what I'm saying? Keeping that left door shut. You know, keeping that left door shut, man. It's your boy Longway Fargo, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. All comments are welcome. I don't care if you cuss me out, you do whatever, do whatever. As long as you don't touch me, leave a comment. I don't care if it's good or bad. I never erase comments or cut anything off. I don't know why I keep hitting these ties. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, y'all leave a comment, man, and uh, let me know what's going on. Let me know how y'all feel. Would you do it? Because if you are the real Fargo family, you've seen all my damn hurricane videos. You've seen them. Would you do it? You know? Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all see why I'm in it.